So foul and fair a day I have not seen. Our first call to forest. So we are sisters, hand in hand. Hostess of the sea and land. Thus you go about, about. Thrice to die and thrice to mine. And twice again to make up nine. What? What are these that look not like the inhabitants of the earth and yet are aunt? Live you, or are you aught that men may question? Speak, if you can. What are you? All hail, Macbeth. Hail to thee, same of Blanche. All hail, Macbeth. Hail to thee, same of Cordial. All hail, Macbeth, that shalt be king hereafter. Good sir, why do you start and seem to fear things that do sound so fair? In the name of truth, are you fantastical or that indeed which outwardly you show? <laughs> My noble partner, you greet with present grace and great prediction of noble having and of royal hope that he seems wrapped with all. To me you speak not. If you can, look into the seeds of time and say which grain will grow and which will not. Speak then to me, who neither beg nor fear your favours nor your hate. Hail, hail, hail. Lesser than Macbeth. And greater. Not so happy. Yet much happier. Thou shalt get, king, though thou be none. So all hail Macbeth. And Banquo, Banquo, and Macbeth, all hail. Stay, you imperfect speakers, tell me more. I know I am Thane of Glams, but how of Cordor? The Thane of Cordor lives, a prosperous gentleman, and to be king stands not within the prospect of belief. No more than to be of Cordor. <laughs> Say from whence you owe this strange intelligence, and why, upon this blasted heath, you stop our way with such prophetic greeting. Speak, I charge you. 